please God. Uh, first and foremost, the, what I just wanted to say was, uh, you know, we on some new shit in 2011, and y'all know this, so a lot of the new shit that we on, that I'm trying to be on, is I'm uh, putting together an informational proposal so we can strive to put together a national new African curriculum. You know what I'm saying? And with this curriculum, we can get into a position and get back to our own African culture because that's really what this um, thing is all about. The second thing, regional there, we need unity. You know what I'm saying? In, in, in order for the Black Liberation Movement to gain momentum, you know, we really need to be in a position to gain momentum. And we can't get into a position to gain momentum if we don't have any unity because we don't have any. You know what I'm saying? Everybody, you got the Nation of Islam. You got the 5% Nation. No, you got the New Black Panthers. You got more science. And all of us are divided. You know, we went from having unity and solidarity from the time of the New Black Panther, from the, uh, from the time of the original Panthers. You know, the Black Panther Party, Huey P. Newton and Fred Hampton, uh, Geronimo, uh, all them brothers, you know, uh, the Black Liberation Army, you know, who were really a military arm of the Black Panther Party. You know what I'm saying? A military arm. They knew that once they became part of the BLA, they were either going to be dead soon or in prison. I mean, just try to fathom that. You know what I'm saying? You being a part of an organization where you know that sooner or later you're going to have to get into a shootout with, 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 with the fascist pigs. You know what I'm saying? You should be ready for that. You know? Because a lot of people talk about war, but they ain't thinking about war. You know what I'm saying? They ain't thinking about war. You know? And we think this shit is this shit is easy. I did this shit before. I used to shoot at the police. You dig what you know I'm saying? In our little neighborhood, we shut out all the street lights. You know, we shut out all the street lights. And any at nighttime, nightfall, the police try to come through there, we light their ass up. You know what I'm saying? And what what happened? They stopped coming through there, period. You know what I'm saying? We had we had young vice lords, uh, in the vice lord neighborhood, we did which wasn't too far from where I was at. Uh, and it was in the trees sniping the police, the fastest pigs. You know what I'm saying? And them brothers got life to this day. You know what I'm saying? Them brothers got, them young brothers got life to this day. You know what I'm saying? I didn't even get caught. I didn't even go to prison for shooting at the police. That was part of my charge. But it wasn't all of it. You know what I'm saying? But uh, I just say that to say, man, you know, I mean, a lot of those brothers, look at how they went out, man, the, uh, them Panthers, you know, in Oakland, when the police uh, gunned up the whole entire house, or in Illinois, how they gunned up. Fred Hampton knew, Fred Hampton said himself that he knew he was never going to die of natural causes, that he was never going to die due to getting hit by a car or some, some type of freak accident. He knew he was going to die, you know what I'm saying, being a part of this black liberation uh, struggle. You know what I'm saying? And so a lot of us talk that shit for real. A lot of us talk that shit. I got a feeling. A lot of us ain't gonna be about that shit. You know what I'm saying? I got a feeling. You know, and it's really more than a feeling. It's it's a it's it's, it's a hunch that a lot of motherfuckers that's talking that shit ain't about that shit. Cause I'm not hearing about motherfuckers sniping the police. I'm not hearing about the police being taken out. You know what I'm saying? Fuck that. You know what I'm saying? If y'all want to be on some real militant shit, get out there and do that shit and stop fucking bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing to talk about. I see motherfuckers taking pictures for all types of MP4s and all type of military weapon issued weapons. But what the fuck is y'all doing? Just taking pictures so the feds can get the pictures. You know what I'm saying? That shit is fucking crazy, man. You know what I'm saying? Don't let the enemy know what the fuck you got. 
you know what I'm saying, just surprise that motherfucking ass. You see these right militia organizations, uh, Timothy McVeigh and uh, a bunch of other them motherfuckers, they ain't talking about nothing. They went and did what they had to do, and they did it, regardless of the consequences. You know what I'm saying? Us, we want to broadcast it to the whole wide world. You know what I'm saying? That's why I say I have a hunch that a lot of motherfuckers that's talking about this old military bullshit ain't going to be about that bullshit when it comes down to it. You know what I'm saying? And it's really the time each and every single day. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? If you're a real black militant type motherfucker, anytime you see the police, you get out their motherfucking ass. Real talk. You know what I'm saying? Motherfucker bang on me because I'm a disciple. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm a, I'm a disciple. Anytime you see me in the club, at the store, you know what I'm saying? You got AKs and choppers, all type of shit trying to get at me. But the police is in your hood each and every single motherfucking day. And the only thing you do is look, look at them roll, roll by. You know what I'm saying? That's bullshit. But, uh, that's, that, that's, some, that's some real shit, man. You know what I'm saying? And there's a lot of people that's following you cats. That's gonna fuck around and get hurt, and you could be standing there with a light bit. You know what I'm saying? Not really giving a fuck about the people. You know, a motherfucker that give a fuck about the people would train the people. You know what I'm saying? But that's not what I wanted to talk about. I got, I got, I had to digress just a minute just to say that. You know what I'm saying? A lot of you motherfuckers fake. You know, there's there's going to be a time that's going to improve. And that time is each and every single day. If you with this shit, just look at how the, uh, the motherfuckers back in the days was. The Black Liberation Army, who were the military army of the Black Panther Party. Look at how they was. Now look how you are. That's the measure by which you judge if you're doing what you need to be doing. You know what I'm saying? Other than that, you know, you had all uh, different type of organizations, man. You know what I'm saying? And we all have our little differences. You know, we all have our little differences. And these differences that we have is the cause for our division and our continued separation. It's like we've taken the the concept of Willie Lynch and got lost in it. Like we got lost in it, man. You know what I'm saying? Because the shit that really Lynch taught that separatism and division. See, you always hear motherfuckers on Facebook talking about, what's up, God? What's up, God? Woo, woo. You know. But a God is somebody that adds on, builds, and multiplies. But as soon as we get through yelling that bullshit, what's up, God? We destroy You know what I'm saying? We, we call some division and separation. You know what I'm saying? You're a five percenter. You think you're better than everybody else. You're mo. You think your way is better than everybody else. You in a lie. You think your way is, is better than everybody else. The bottom line, nigga, you's a nigga. Like Pac said, the bottom line, when you get through talking that bullshit, nigga, you black just like everybody else. And you could be looked at like that, like everybody else. So get your motherfucking mind right about what's really going on out here in this world. Hold